So I'm here today with a disappointing products video and I haven't done one of these in ages and for some reason I just had the little epiphany yesterday and realised that I've actually got a fair amount of products that have disappointed me lately. And I know a lot of people think these are very negative videos so we are going to put a little disclaimer out there even though everyone's intelligent and I don't really need to say this but I'm going to anyway. These just didn't work for me, they might work for you, you might love them, it's nothing personal, I just didn't get on with these products for various reasons. So I'm going to jump right into it and tell you what my reasons were. The first thing is a foundation and I have spoken about this a fair amount recently and this is the L'Oreal True Match foundation. Now I know this is a big big no-no in the beauty world to say that you don't like this because so many people who have kind of like the seal of approval on great recommendations love this but I just found it very cakey, I didn't like the finish, it kind of didn't last very well on my skin and I just didn't get on with it at all. It was really, really not for me and not something that I am going to use and I really did give it a fair test. I wore it a lot and it's just not for me, I don't like it. If you are someone who enjoys it, I know a lot of people on Twitter said that they like mixing it with other foundations and that type of thing, but I just have a lot of other products that I like much more than this, so this just isn't really for me. Then another foundation I've got here, this is by Miners and it's their Fresh Face Foundation. Now funnily enough the powder from this range I adore, the foundation not so much. The coverage isn't particularly great with this, it's just a very kind of medium coverage, the packaging's not amazing and it's medium coverage if you build it and 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 I don't like having to do that. You have to really work with this product and it's just not for me. I like something that's a little bit more um, more dewy and this the finish of this just wasn't anything special. The coverage isn't fantastic and it's just kind of all around just not a great product. Then I've also got a concealer here and this is an interesting one because I still am kind of in two minds on whether or not I think this is disappointing but for me it was. This is the 17 Pore Paint Heavy Duty Under Eye Concealer. Packaging is like this and it's just a kind of nice creamy concealer. It's nice but the problem is this is the shade medium and it's too light. It's too light on me and it just kind of makes my under eye area look a little bit grey. This is the kind of darker shade they do, so it's more in terms of the shade range. I think if it was a darker shade, I would compare it to something like Benefit Erase Paste or Benefit Boying, I think it's a bit more similar to, but I just wish that the shade range with this was better and it didn't really work for me. Then I've also got a primer here, and this is the Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer. My issue with this is that this you can only wear it as a moisturiser. If you try and wear your regular day cream or your regular moisturiser and then prime on top, this is a crumbly mess and it makes your foundation separate really weirdly here. So kind of this little area here just becomes this weird separated line and it says apply to clear skin, use alone or under makeup clean skin sorry that's the main thing you have to only apply on clean skin and I like to use a primer kind of during the day I wouldn't tend to use one at night necessarily if I am going out at night I will use this but um, my life is so unglamorous that that rarely happens these days so that's that and then I've got a blusher here and this is the elf HD blush in the shade diva my problem with this is it's kind of like a gel blush so it comes out with a little um, pump and it's sort of like the same concept of the Makeup Forever HD blushes except that it's very hard to work with. It's very, very, very pigmented so you kind of don't get a lot of working time to get it into your skin and get it looking good and it's just a hard product to work with, patchy and I just couldn't get on with it so didn't love that. Then I've also got a lipstick and this is a recent purchase and this is something I'm very annoyed about Revlon and I bought the Revlon matte lipstick in smoked peach so I'm not sure if the camera's zooming in there but you can say it says matte and smoked peach. The tester was matte. This was stacked above the tester all said smoked peach matte 013 perfect get it home and then I realized it's actually the Revlon super lustrous lipstick and then it just says matte underneath it except it's not matte in the slightest this is the shade pretty peachy shade but it's not matte and it's not what I wanted and I'll swatch it here for you it's definitely not matte it's got shimmer in it and it's just a very confusing concept all I can think of was that they got mixed up with the labels and kind of did it that way or that the matte one of it was discontinued I don't know but this isn't matte then um, another makeup item. 
This is the L'Oreal Infallible, um, what are they called? Infallible eyeshadows in Endless Chocolate. These, again, hugely hyped on YouTube. I do think with this it's maybe the shade that I didn't love, but it's kind of like a pressed pigment. It comes like that with a little kind of pressed um, plasticky thing, and then the colour is a really beautiful rich chocolate, except once you start putting it on your eyes, then I will do a little swatch on my hand here for you. It's got a nice texture, it's very pigmented as you can see, but once you start blending it, it loses its kind of iridescence and its warmth and it just becomes a very kind of boring flat colour to me and I just really didn't get on with that, so that's um, something that I think maybe I should try another shade, let me know what you think, but I just didn't like kind of how it applied and I just thought it was very kind of underwhelming. Then I've also got a couple of skincare items. The first one is the Enspa Skin Renewal Gel. I don't know what I was expecting from this, but it just doesn't really do anything. It's just a kind of pearlescent gel that you apply on your face and it's supposed to kind of rejuvenate and get get rid of dead, dead skin cells. It didn't really do that. It kind of just sat on the skin. I washed it off, my skin felt nice, but it didn't look any different and it's not that effective. I will still kind of use it occasionally, but it doesn't really do anything. It says it's got exfoliating fruit acids in, but it's very, very mild. Same goes for the um, Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix Cleanser. I bought this a while ago. I've used it a fair amount, as you can see, but it just doesn't really do much. It doesn't really make my skin look that great, and it kind of makes my skin feel a little bit dry, so I've stopped using this, and I just wanted it to be a bit more brightening and kind of resurfacing, but I suppose it's because it's got such a low um, percentage of glycolic acid in it, so maybe I was expecting too much. And then last but not least, I have got, this is a really, I'm ashamed to admit these because I'm going to like get shot in the beauty world for doing this, but these are the LV Fibrology Shampoo and Conditioners, hangs her head down in shame. I didn't like these. Um, I was really, really excited to try them, but I just don't feel like they work. Maybe you have to have shorter, much finer hair for them to work. But on me, they didn't make any difference at all. They smell nice, I'll use them up, but I don't think they thickened my hair in any way, shape or form. So I know, I'm sorry to kind of bust the myth with that one, but for me, they didn't work. So that's it, those are all my disappointing products. If you love any of these products, then let me know how you make them work for you. And if you hate any of these, then share the hate as well. Um, <laughs> let me know why you don't get on with them or what products you really, really don't get on with so we can all kind of um, know from your experience. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.